Sets and intervals. In this video, we're going to learn the basic definition of a set and introduce a special type of set called interval. What is a set? A set is simply a collection of distinct objects. For example, we can say that A is a set consisting of the Arabic numerals. B is a set whose elements are coffee, creamer, and sugar. C is a set of subtractive colors. R is a set of non-negative integers less than 6. This kind of notation is called the roster notation, where the elements of the set are listed and enclosed in braces. This is the general definition of a set. It is a collection of any type of data. But in this video, we are only interested in sets whose elements are only real numbers. We will not consider sets with any other types of data. If A is an object inside S, then we write A is an element of S. Otherwise, if A is not an object inside S, then we write A is not an element of S. For example, if S is a set with elements 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, then 2 is an element of S, but 3 is not an element of S. If T is a set whose elements are all in set S, then we write T is a subset of S. For example, if z is a set of all integers, and n is a set of all natural numbers, then n is a subset of z, since every natural number is also an integer. Sets can also be written in set builder notation. If s is a set with elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we can write this as the set of all x such that x is an integer and x is greater than 0 but less than 6. If t is a set with elements 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, we can write this as the set of all x such that x is odd and x is greater than 1 but less than 20. Two important operations on sets are union and intersection. The union of sets S and T is the set consisting of elements that are either or both in S and T. The intersection of S and T is the set consisting of elements that are both in S and T. For example, if S equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and T equals 3, 4, 5, 9, 10, then the union of S and T is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10. The intersection of S and T is 3, 4, 5. Now what if there is another set V with elements 20, 21, 24, 25, and we want to find the intersection of S and V? As we can see, they have no common elements. Therefore, the intersection is an empty set. The empty set is a set with no elements. Now let's talk about intervals. An interval is also a set, and it is a set that consists of all real numbers between a pair of numbers on the number line or real line. If there are two points on the real line A and B, where A is less than B and B is greater than A, then the set of all numbers between A and B is an interval. A and B are called endpoints. An interval may include either, both, or neither endpoint. And because of this, we can have the following classification of interval. An interval can be finite or infinite. The difference is that a finite interval is an interval whose endpoints are real numbers. If at least one of the endpoints is infinity, then it is an infinite interval. A finite interval can be open, 
closed or half open. An open interval excludes the endpoints. A closed interval includes the endpoints. A half open interval includes either of the endpoints. Depending on which endpoint is excluded, a half open interval can be left open or right open. Similarly, depending on how the endpoints are bounded, an infinite interval can be left bounded, right bounded, or end bounded. Left bounded and right bounded intervals can be open or closed. In other words, we have nine basic types of intervals. Open interval, closed interval, left open interval, right open interval, open left bounded interval, closed left bounded interval, open right bounded interval, closed right bounded interval, and unbounded interval. In interval notation, we write these intervals by a pair of endpoints and closed by parentheses or bracket. Parentheses means open and bracket means closed. An open interval is a pair of real endpoints and closed by parentheses on both sides. This means that the endpoints are not included in the set. In set builder notation, it is the set of all x such that x is greater than a but less than b. A closed interval is enclosed by brackets on both sides. This means that the endpoints are included in the set. In set builder notation, it is the set of all x such that x is greater or equal to a but less than or equal to b. A half open interval excludes only the left or right endpoint. A left open interval is the set of all x such that x is greater than a but less than or equal to b. A right open interval is the set of all x such that x is greater or equal to a but less than b. Left bounded interval means that the interval is bounded only in the left. The left endpoint can be included or excluded. The infinity symbol means that it is unbounded to the right. Take note that we write parentheses after infinity because we can never reach infinity and it is not included in the set. Open left bounded interval is the set of all x such that x is greater than a, while closed left bounded interval is the set of all x such that x is greater or equal to a. Right bounded interval means that the interval is bounded only in the right. The right endpoint can be included or excluded. The negative infinity symbol means that it is unbounded to the left. Take note that we write parentheses before negative infinity because we can never reach negative infinity and it is not included in the set. Open right bounded interval is the set of all x such that x is less than b, while close right bounded interval is the set of all x such that x is less than or equal to b. Unbounded means that the interval has no bound or limit. It can take any value from negative infinity to infinity, but not negative infinity nor infinity. It is the set of all x such that x is an element of the set of real numbers. Intervals correspond geometrically to line segments on the real line. An open interval is represented by a line segment whose endpoints are open dots. In a closed interval, we use solid dots. In a left open interval, the left endpoint is an open dot and the right endpoint is a solid dot. In a right open interval, the right endpoint is an open dot and the left endpoint is a solid dot. In a left bounded interval, we draw a ray to the right. The endpoint is an open dot if it is open and a solid dot if it is closed. In a right bounded interval, we draw a ray to the left. The endpoint is an open dot if it is open and a solid dot if it is closed. 
an unbounded interval is represented by a line. Since intervals are also sets, we can also find their union and intersection. Let's say we want to find the union and intersection of the open interval from 1 to 4 and the closed interval from 3 to 9. Let's graph the intervals. This is the open interval from 1 to 4. And this is the closed interval from 3 to 9. The union of these intervals is the interval that is either or both in these two intervals. Therefore, the union is the left open interval from 1 to 9. In set builder notation, this is the set of all x such that x is greater than 1 but less than or equal to 9. The intersection is the interval that is in both of these two intervals. Geometrically, this is the overlapping area of the line segments. That interval is the right open interval from 3 to 4. In set building notation, this is the set of all x such that x is greater or equal to 3 but less than 4. Now what about this one? What is the union and intersection of the left open interval from 0 to 3 and the right open interval from 5 to 8? Let's graph the intervals. This is the left open interval from 0 to 3. This is the right open interval from 5 to 8. Now in this case, the union cannot be simplified into a single interval because of the discontinuity. So the interval notation is as is. In set builder notation, this is the set of all x such that x is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 3 or x is greater or equal to 5 but less than 8. The line segments do not overlap with each other, so therefore, they do not have an intersection or the intersection is the empty set. We can also write it as a pair of braces with no elements. So that's it for the basics of sets and intervals. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.